Hello there, Elvira. Let's have a look at your work. So ch ch child development has been an, an essential concern in the education realm. Good start. Some experts suggested that children can achieve better results, not better abilities. Well, can achieve better results or can, or can, can improve abilities would be better there. Can achieve better results and greater imagination by doing enjoyable activities compared to reading. Okay. Okay, so the better way to say this would be by doing enjoyable activities other than reading. Okay, um, if we're going to make a comparison, let's use than and, and then the superlative. Okay, so it's better abilities than just reading. And then we can emphasize it are better abilities by doing enjoyable activities other than reading is also valid. My personal opinion is in total agreement, but we wouldn't say total because that sounds more like spoken English. Um, but don't worry about this sentence because in the next video, there's um, a much easier way to use that final sentence. We could say something like this essay will look at both issues using examples from America and Spot to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Then the sentence is very relevant to the essay. There is no doubt that reading has numerous benefits. However, there are some skills that can only be better developed by playing games. Good. Or even better, that can only be developed by playing games. Because it's just clearer then. And we've already said the word better, so we don't need to use it again. So this is due to the fact that while playing on consoles, children will promote active skills, no, will develop active skills such as reflective ability and a greater improvement in spatial awareness. Good. A recent study or recent research. Okay, let's get that perfect. From the American Institute for Cognitive Therapy, excellent, good work there, has found that the child who spends, a child who spends on average two TWO hours per day on a PlayStation outperforms counterparts and psychometric tests or outperforms their counterparts on psychometric tests. Okay, outperform, we don't need than. Okay, or who outperforms the counterparts by 50% on psychometric tests. Okay, but either way, just be careful. That's a long sentence, and long sentences are risky because. Um, actually, it's not a terribly long sentence, but I think to make to improve the clarity, we could make it a little bit shorter. Thus proved. No, proved. No. Therefore, it is clear, or therefore, it is proved that some advantages for a child's development can be carried out by entertaining games only. No, by entertainment games solely. Good. Another advantage that enjoyable activities deliver but has neglected by but is neglected by reading alone is the advancement of physical ability. Very good. Good sentence that. This can be obtained through sports which introduce new dynamics such as competition, motor response and reflective ability. Very good work. Very good. We've already said reflective ability. What could we use instead? This is an excellent list. Um, let's say, uh, let's see, intelligence, uh, intelligence awareness, um, social awareness, perhaps. Furthermore, active sports can also help improve cognitive skills in decision making, memorizing and concentration. Very good. Fatten up that list. Good. Make it a little bit deeper. Good work. Good vocabulary too. Take soccer, for example. Good. Features of this sport, such as teamwork and making the right decision 
or decisiveness would be the correct word there because it's um yeah um it's just one word instead of three it's much more succinct such as teamwork and decisiveness within short time scales or within a short time scale requires requires strong cognitive and physical abilities good work there consequently children are more likely to strengthen these abilities by playing active activities compared to reading no consequently children are more likely to strengthen these abilities by active activities is redundant okay especially playing active activities so we'd have to say by playing sports and that would have been fine full stop if we're going to use compare we have to say um uh, are more likely to strengthen these abilities when compared to just reading or when compared to reading okay to conclude enjoyable activities have distinctive merits in achieving various mental and physical skills good schools and families should put more efforts on encouraging children to try more active games in order to develop better active skills very good but we've overused the word active okay uh, so be careful there for repetition and also just check your sentences for third person singular okay Alvira but that's a very strong start to the course very impressed let's go it has been argued that interpersonal communication among families or among a family but among families is better because it's both plural then has dramatically declined compared to the old days so if you want write out 10 sentences five with compare and with compared and than okay so schooling has increased when com um when compared to 1996 okay so five sentences with compare and then five sentences with more than okay research that online i believe this phenomenon has become a recent trend due to the due to the physical and psychological barriers that have been um no that result from modern society okay let's get more succinct more concise we don't need have resulted from various factors first of all that tense isn't necessary okay we could just say that result from modern society and factors uh, various factors it's too vague okay I mean it's not absolutely essential to the sentence so we could just say various factors from modern society modern society okay and that would be enough Firstly, the physical barrier in relation to geographical distance has limited the chances for family members to establish meaningful conversations. Very good. The unstoppable tendency of kids going studying abroad. No, the, the unstoppable tendency of... Is it kids or are we talking about students? Are we talking about young adult students? I would say young adult students. Or at least very least students the unstoppable tendency of students to go abroad or parents traveling to larger cities to pursue careers has increased the number of such no, has increased the has increased the number of such families mm, that's okay but we could say has increased has dramatically increased the distances between family members take urbanization in China for example good almost all the parents in rural areas have traveled to major cities good major cities much better than bigger cities major cities that are in demand of okay that are in demand of labor are in demand of a large labor force they left their kids in village continuing their education and only visit once a year which makes communication almost impossible to achieve good consequently this has resulted in less communication in modern families very good or consequently this has lessened communication in modern families so good work there very good Alvira one thing be careful of your word count and also tell me how long you're spending writing these essays because they're very good so I'm kind of suspicious it might be taking you longer 
then it's actually permitted. But don't worry, it's early days in the class, so we've got time to solve it. Another evidence, no, evidence is plural noun. So we'd have to go further evidence that communication is decreased between families, family members. This is a psychological barrier brought by technology. Computers and smartphones have provided children with an independence in their communication. Good. Parents nowadays are having trouble to understand the mind of their kids because they are more willing to chat with their friends through electronic devices. They are more willing to chat with their friends or to text with their friends than with their parents. Full stop. Okay, then we've got the more willing to do this than that. And if we say text, then we it's clear that it's on an electronic device, so we can just delete through electronic devices and save words because we're probably over the word count. And another thing, Elvira, make sure that your essay is not over 260 words. Do a word count, and if it's over 260, edit it down to 260 for your task two, okay? And likewise, edit it down to 150 for your task one, if it's over. Survey conducted by Harvard University revealed that 70% of parents are having difficulties to communicate with their kids due to the increased usage of technology. Good. Therefore, family communication has dropped significantly when compared to the old days. So once again, that's definitely an issue we need to sort out. In conclusion, family members, no, sorry, family communication is noticeably lessened, which can be proved by two compelling pieces of evidence. Okay, physical and psychological barriers. Okay, good. This trend will, if no actions are taken, to solve it. This trend will continue if no actions are taken to solve it. Fine. Excellent work there, Elvira. A very good start to the course. What I want you to do now is implement all the corrections that you've heard in this video. Make a list of the mistakes. Write down those 10 sentences. Write me two new essays. And then check those essays for mistakes you've made previously. And also write down those 10 sentences. I said that already. And then send me all the work your error list your corrected essays and your new essays in one email and i'll correct it and get back to you okay and you'll also see the new questions that you asked about earlier that included in this email okay i'll have a good day and let's keep on writing